Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we have discussed another important lecture in coordination chemistry. That is a stereochemistry of SN1CB mechanism. Stereochemistry of conjugate base hydrolysis reaction. Conjugate base hydrolysis reaction. Now in previous cases we have discussed acid hydrolysis and their stereochemistry. Again conjugate base hydrolysis are already discussed. Now here we are to discuss it about the stereochemistry of conjugate base mechanism. Now whenever the consecutive steps of like a conjugate base formation followed by the like leaving group elimination it creates the like a coordination number five intermediate that may be either a trigonal bipyramidal or square pyramidal intermediate okay now in the presence of like a pi donor ligands what will happen either the absence of a pi donor ligands what will happen let us discuss the one by one so now here so this is the uh, mainly we are using the cobalt uh, three chloride cobalt three groups cobalt uh, three now here uh, those two are the one one is the leaving group another one is the ligand that may be either oh minus or br minus or ncs minus and o2 minus whatever it okay now here cobalt ethylene diamine cl l here it is minus one ligand then, then here the charge is plus one charge is plus one now here one is the leaving group uh, l is the adjacent group now cl is the leaving group so now here so first of all in presence of a base here it abstracted the proton from opposite to the leaving group it abstract the proton from opposite to the leaving group now here nh2 or nh2 nh2 that is ethylene diamine nh2 nh2 then it becomes a like a nh that is a conjugate base complex that is a conjugate base complex this is the first step in second step now here so for after the conjugate base formation now here the elimination of a cl group now it creates the five membered coordinated system five membered coordinated system so here it is the square pyramidal intermediate it is the square pyramidal okay now if you want to uh, make the square pyramidal intermediate to the trigonal bipyramidal that means the conversion of square pyramidal intermediate to the like a uh, trigonal bipyramidal intermediate uh, now here it requires a uh, the conversion it requires uh, the rotation of one or two bonds okay now here these bond these two bonds uh, rotate like this rotate like this now here we will get the this type of bond this type of bonds now so whenever the square pyramidal intermediate will convert it into trigonal bipyramidal intermediate it requires uh, the bond rotation it requires some of the bond rotation that requires uh, more energy so that requires more activation energy that's why so in general complexes general complexes that means uh, here li ligand is uh, absence of a pi donor ligands absence of a pi donor ligands so here it favors only square pyramidal intermediate rather than the trigonal bipyramidal why because the trigonal bipyramidal it requires more energy to remove uh, to convert their sh shape from a square pyramidal to trigonal bipyramidal now here however we use the base then this base attack over the empty site now here like a ligand nh2 nh okay nh2 nh2 so this is the complex now here which is occupied by the oh minus then followed by the so additional addition of h plus ion now here it becomes like a nh2 nh2 methyl like here ligand oh nh2 nh2 this is the our, our final compound our final compound so in case of normal ligand that means normal condition these are the general condition so in case of normal condition that means uh, absence of pi donor ligands uh, square pyramidal intermediate is measured square pyramidal intermediate is measured now what will happen in presence of pi donor ligands in case of uh, pi donor ligands here it is the leaving group here it is the ligand that means uh, whatever the position doesn't matter uh, like nh2 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 okay in generally first step is conjugate base formation nh here nh2 nh2 here nh2 this is the ligand over the chloride ion, over the chloride ion. Now here, this is the conjugate base. So after the conjugate base, here uh, the elimination of a chloride, M, like uh, all are the similar ligand, all are the similar ligand, here NH2, L, NH2, NH2, L, NH2. That means uh, 
here I did a mistake. So this is the like a representation. This is ethylene diamine, ethylene diamine. Okay. Now here in the formation of uh, uh, intermediate, here our ligand is pi donor. That means here donates the lone pair of electrons to the cobalt plus three cation. Cobalt plus three cation. Now here it it releases some energy. So the formation of pi bond with a uh, cobalt three. Cobalt 3 chloride, cobalt 3 complex, it releases some energy. It releases some energy. So, which is greater than, which is greater than, so the requirement energy of, requirement energy of trigonal bipyramidal intermediate formation. Trigonal bipyramidal intermediate formation. Okay, is it right? Okay, is it okay? Now here, it uh, it forms the pi bond with the metal atom. So that releases some energy. That energy, that energy more than that of the conversion of square pyramidal intermediate to the trigonal bipyramidal energy. Okay, that's why here the trigonal bipyramidal intermediate is more stable. Trigonal bipyramidal intermediate is the most stable intermediate. NH2. NH2. Okay, so this is the trigonal bipyramidal intermediate. So in case of trigonal bipyramidal intermediate, our ligand attack over the either uh, these site or these site or back side of the site. Now here, these two are the like a cis compounds. So this is the trans compound. Now here we will get the like a cis as well as a trans. Here the two types of possibility of cis, uh, one type of possibility of uh, trans. That means uh, around 70 to 30 percent of uh, cis trans racemic mixture is there. Okay. Now here the mixture of compounds, mixture of products we observed in case of a trigonal bipyramidal moiety. Trigonal bipyramidal moiety. Now let us discuss the, uh, some of the specific example to form the like a uh, lambda and delta complexes. Lambda and delta complexes. Okay. In general, a conjugate base mechanism uh, proceeds through the like the lambda cis complex and delta cis complex formation. So here, cobalt uh, complex is cobalt ethylene diamine two times like uh, both the chloride ions here plus okay so now here it is this is compound cis compound will give the like a lambda cis compound like delta cis compound now what will happen in case of a lambda cis compound formation so this is the complex now here cl here cl like nh2 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 so this is the like ethylene diamine this is the ethylene diamine so this is the simplest complex of uh, cobalt uh, ethylene diamine taken twice cl2 plus one okay now here in the first step uh, conjugate base mechanism formation now here oh minus so the delta and the lambda complexes formation based on the concentration of oh minus concentration of uh, oh minus so in less than that of the 0 0.01 concentration of oh minus will use the like a lambda concentration is greater than that of 0 0.25 molar concentration now we will get the like a delta complex formation delta complex formation here the like a conjugate based mechanism mainly depends upon the concentration of oh minus concentration of oh minus in the first step the transposition of the leaving group is a deprotonated now here it forms the like uh, the corresponding conjugate base complex here cl here the cl okay now we will get the uh, like a uh, conjugate base complex after that uh, here elimination of cl minus uh, here it forms the like uh, nh2 nh2 cl nh2 like nh okay so this is the complex here it is the vacant site here it is the vacant site so that vacant site will fulfill it by the oh minus complex so that oh minus can approach us the same position that means the same side now we will get the like nh2 nh2 like nh2 cl nh okay so here the oh minus is attacked so after that uh, we will we will have the requirement of nh2 nh2 conversion now here in the presence of nh nh2 now we will get the like a complex like this oh nh2 cl nh nh2 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 okay so this is the retention of the configuration retention of the configuration we will take this is compound we will get this is now here so this is the simply lambda cis uh, cobalt ethylene diamine two times to cl okay cl and oh complex 
what is plus one complex okay so in generally these type of complexes are lambda complexes so now in case of a more than zero point like a more than zero point not the less than here more than 0.25 molar concentration so which type of products are produced okay now the more okay now you are more than 0 0.25 molar concentration so here not the less than i think uh, firstly i would like to write the less than 0 0.25 that is not less than it's so more than the 0 0.25 concentration now the same complex here cl here cl nh2 nh2 here nh2 nh2 okay so in the previous case we will uh, we will take the cl trans to the top cl now in this time uh, if it is a different one that is uh, opposite to the second cl uh, both are uh, same that doesn't matter whatever the position okay now here it forms the like uh, their corresponding uh, nh2 nh2 cl nh2 cl okay so here it forms the like uh, this is the conjugate base so after the formation of conjugate base after the formation of conjugate base followed by the elimination of uh, leaving group uh, now here it creates the nh nh2 nh2 like nh2 cl nh2 nh2 cl this is the complex okay before the elimination of leaving group uh, our oh minus can coordinate with a uh, nh like a conjugate base complex and now here that means uh, here it having the like a uh, lone pair of lone pair of electrons that lone pair of electrons will uh, con con uh, communicate with a uh, hydrogen bond atom hydrogen atom of oh minus now again here one of the hydrogen will participate with uh, hydrogen bonding like a uh, oh atom so this is coordinate with a uh, nh2 now here it forms the ligand here nh2 here it is oh so that is coordinated with the hydrogen now here it forms the like a chelating chelating complex okay that's why so due to the chelation of these complex why because firstly it is coordinated with the conjugate base then followed by the adjacent nh2 attack now here the oh present over the left side that means opposite side of the leaving group opposite side of the leaving group why because firstly opposite side of the leaving group you mean protonated that means uh, conjugate base formation so same position he will have in the oh minus that's why here these oh minus are top over the same position not the leaving group position that means it is the opposite conversion that means uh, here uh, inversion of the configuration cobalt nh2 here nh2 here oh cl nh2 nh2 this is the complex okay now here it is the complex it is the complex so this is uh, here only nh not the like uh, here also only nh not the nh2 so followed by the h plus uh, h plus formation doesn't matter uh, either nh or nh2 plus uh, uh, doesn't matter so it is the nh2 nh2 i don't want to like uh, uh, take the more time for this video okay now here nh2 nh2 so this is the simplest compound now here oh attack over the same position due to the more concentration of oh minus that is uh, co coordinated with the conjugate base that coordinate uh, that conjugate base uh, having the opposite position of the leaving group that's why oh attack over the opposite position of the leaving group now we will get the opposite position of the leaving group uh, attack okay now here it is the inversion it is the inversion this is called like lambda cis uh, overall it is cis complex not the trans complex so cobalt ethylene diamine cl oh over the mine over the plus one okay so this is the de delta complex okay now we will get the these two types of compounds um, in case of uh, uh, less concentrated oh minus and more concentrated oh minus okay now finally this is the simplest representation of uh, like uh, lambda complexes okay so this is the lambda complexes so this is the like a uh, delta complexes okay this is the simplest representation of the lambda as well as the delta complexes okay however the conjugate base mechanism sn1cb conjugate base mechanism so in case of cobalt 3 complex cobalt amine complexes here en taken twice like a uh, l as well as x here x is the cl ligand so the presence of a pi, pi donor ligand so the pi donor ligands are nothing but a nh2 like a nh minus 
NH2, NH minus. These are the pi donor ligands. We have discussed in the starting. So the pi donor ligands more reactive towards the acid, uh, the, like a conjugate base hydrolysis through the like a, tri a trigonal bipyramidal intermediate. Through the trigonal bipyramidal intermediate. Trigonal bipyramidal intermediate will use the mixture of compounds. Okay. So let uh, sometimes they are asked the questions like this. Cobalt uh, here the ligand is uh, uh, like a like a NH2. As well as like not only NH2, the Cl ligands, either NO2 minus ligand or Cn minus ligand or CO ligand. So these are the pi acceptor ligands, so these are the donor ligands. So in case of conjugate base mechanism, Cl minus is more reactive than that of NO2 minus as well as Cn minus, this is CO. Okay, these ligands conjugate base mechanism uh, reactive uh, like a uh, rate constant, uh, very lesser, the, very lesser uh, that of uh, expected value, that is the expected value. That that's why so pi donor ligands more reactive towards the SN1 CB mechanism. Again, uh, in case of NH2, NH minus, that means here R NH minus, that will go through the trigonal bipyramidal intermediate to over than that of the square pyramidal intermediate. So finally, what we conclude? So in presence of square, like uh, normal ligands, that means absence of uh, pi donor ligands, it favors the square pyramidal intermediate, but presence of the amino ligand, that is uh, pi donor ligands, it favors the trigonal bipyramidal intermediate due to the formation of uh, pi donor ligand with the metal atom pi, pi bond. Okay, so that pi bond releases more than energy that requirement of uh, uh, like interconversion of a square pyramid to trigonal bipyramidal inter intermediate okay so this is the overall uh, stereochemistry of the conjugate base mechanism okay thank you for watching